Dallas 46 with Intrigue Airsoft. Today I'm going to be reviewing the TSD Super Shotgun, or as uh, some other sites might call it, the SD88S, I believe. Uh, it's from TSD Sports. Uh, now they are a rebrander, TSD, along with other companies like Echo One. Uh, they oftentimes import and rebrand a lot of other manufacturers' airsoft guns. So you might see this under the name of UK Arms or uh, ACM, depending on which site you're looking at. Plastic construction here. Um, there's not much metal on this gun whatsoever. You do have uh, a metal front sling mount here, triggers metal. Um, the uh, stock tube is going to be metal. I take that back. The stock tube is plastic, actually. So everything on this gun is plastic. It's a good plastic. It's solid. The construction's uh, pretty solid on it. No worries about uh, the integrity of the plastic on this. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, the weight overall is going to be fairly light due to its plastic construction. I know it does have a, a lead weight, as you'll find common in uh, mostly plastic airsoft guns. It's got a lead weight in the uh, magazine tube here, the mock magazine tube. Um, also, they opted to stick a lead weight right in the pistol grip of this. Now, some other shotguns you might find, um, you can carry an extra shotgun shell in the pistol grip here. However, they opted to stick a lead weight, the exact size of a sock shotgun shell in there, and uh, screwed up the bottom. So, you're not going to be able to carry a shotgun shell on the bottom of the shotgun. Um, you got your safety here, located right behind the trigger housing. Very nice. One direction safe, the other direction is not safe. Um, you're going to load your magazine you're going to load your shotgun shells right in the bottom here. Um, now this gun does come with four 30 round shotgun shells. Uh, now you, as you can see these are quite worn and I'll get to why they're like that here in a minute. Um, four 30 round shotgun shells here. You feed them right in the bottom like so. Slip it in. Kind of rock it in there and then push down the back of it. Close that uh, trap door and your shotgun shell is loaded. Uh, now to get that shotgun shell out or open the magazine door, the shotgun shell magazine door, there's a switch located right here next to the uh, trigger guard. Pull that back, pops right on out. Now if you have this upside down, if you have this gun upside down, let me show you here what I mean. It's fairly easy to load, fairly fast. Uh, just pop that in, push it up, close the trap door. Now if uh, you have it upside down and you release that door, make sure you have a hand ready to catch that shell uh, so you don't end up looking for it on the ground. And it does pop it just right out the bottom there. Um, the sights on this thing are pretty unuseful. You can see here, uh, it's just got a back notch sight here and a front sight post on the edge of the barrel. With uh, When you get this um, shotgun side saddle mount is what they might call it, mounted, it's going to block your view. These are very shallow, very low sights uh, compared with uh, how tall the receiver is here. So you're not really going to be able to use these sights, especially like I said, especially when you get this side saddle put on there. Um, it just really obscures the, uh, the sight view. You're not going to be able to get much use out of those. It's a three position stock, really nice, really solid. It's got a uh, rubber butt on it, feels good on the shoulder. Um, it is nice to have that option to slide it in or out. Now, the shotgun does come in a solid stock or a uh, just a pistol grip model. I opt for the sliding stock just uh, for the versatility of it all. On this side here, guys, you're going to have your. Uh, your hop up, it's this little nubby right here sticking on the side. It says normal or hop. So you push it all the way to the hop and it is hopped up all the way. When you have this pushed all the way up and you're using 0.2 gram BBs, uh, you will notice a slight climb, a slight arc upward with your uh, BB flight path. So you might want to keep it about two thirds of the way, I found was the optimal setting for the hop up. And the hop up is very functional, the hop up is very good. Um, I've been able to sell BBs straight and accurately, accurately out uh, 
reach, I'd say almost a good 150 feet, a, a good solid 150 feet. Um, now it does come with this side saddle like I was getting at earlier, guys. It clips on, but it comes off very easy. Uh, you'll find, and you might see some other guys' reviews saying it's worthless, it's garbage, blah, blah, blah. It is hard plastic. Um, there's not much flex to it as far as where you put the shells in at. But uh, it's solid. Now, to uh, fix it coming unclipped off the top of the receiver, it kind of fits into a groove here. Just uh, I put some rubber cement on it and I uh, haven't had problems with it since. Um, now, like I said, there's not much play to it. Um, it doesn't stretch much. So when you slide these shotgun shells in, now you're seeing why they get all tore up. It does hold them very snug. It holds them in there real nice. No worries. They're not, they're not going anywhere. I mean, these things are in there. They're not going anywhere. What you're hearing shaking right now, that's the, the pump. But uh, the shells are very snug in there. Now, the cool thing about the shotgun, since it uses the 30 round airsoft shotgun shells, is you are going to be able to use, uh, you know, Tokyo Marui and other brand shotgun shells. These fit nice. Now, one thing I did notice is the shells that come with it are a little bit bigger in diameter. So, when you get a Tokyo Marui brand shell or whatever and slide it in there, there's a little bit more play to it. You see that? It's not going to come out sideways. You know, it's in there, it's snug, but uh, I kind of like it actually because it doesn't eat the decorative wrapper off your shotgun shell. Um, these are compatible, third round shotgun shells, work great. Um, now this is a single shot shotgun. What I mean by that is one pump gives you one BB. Um, just loaded one BB in there. As you guys can see, it's, it's fairly loud. Um, so, unlike other three round shotguns that have three barrels in it that shoot three BBs, this one only has one. Now, the advantage to that is all of the, uh, the air power built up by the piston and the cylinder uh, is going to go straight out that one, that one barrel. So, you're getting a lot more feet per second compared to having to split up that air volume with three different barrels. So with just having the one barrel, you're getting a lot more feet per second, you're going to end up with more distance. However, you do only have that one BB instead of sending three BBs at your target. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, this thing shoots a solid 150 feet, no problem. Um, it gets out there. The hop up is very, very uh, workable. Uh, some sites state that if the feet per second on this gun, anywhere from 350 to 380, I've had the chance to chrono this gun, and those uh, FPS specs are correct. Um, I chronoed this in about a month ago. Now, this gun is about two years old now. I chronoed it in about a month ago, and it got a reading uh, averaged around 360 feet per second. So, not bad for a spring shack. Um, cost. Cost-wise, you can find this gun online at uh, various airsoft retailers uh, from anywhere. I've seen it as low as $30 um, up to around $50 if you need a uh, nice little spring-powered backup shotgun just for those rainy days, uh, cold weather, or a day when your AEG battery runs out halfway through the game. You can depend on this thing. It is a very solid, robust shotgun. Uh, overall, I'd highly recommend it, guys. Anyhow, that's my review. Thanks for watching.